everybody, how is it going? Welcome back again. Luke is here. Today we are going to be taking a look at an album from Within the Ruins called Halfway Human. Now the last album these guys came out with was pretty banging. It was pretty good. I, I checked it out a little bit and I liked some of the stuff, but I never really like committed to it. I never really listened to it all the way through. But I knew who these guys were and when this album came out, I actually kind of missed it when it right when it released. And a lot of people were talking about it like, oh my god, I didn't know Within the Ruins was so good. Many of these guys were good, so I decided to check the album out. And a lot of people were right. Halfway Human is pretty good. Now, it isn't without its faults, but it is pretty good. So let's kind of get an overview of what Halfway Human does and how they play. They play uh, extremely low, so they tune to like, I think E1, which is like if you do drop E on an A string guitar, that is what they tune to. So they they tune kind of low, but they don't just chug the entire time. So they do, you know, they play a lot of cool riffs. They're sort of like Vela Maya in the way that um, Vela Maya plays an F sharp on a six string guitar. So it's kind of floppy. And it's kind of the same thing going on here. Since they play so low, it's like Vela Maya, they, there's a ton of edited guitars in here. And you can hear it. But, I mean, I, this, that's what they were going for. And, I mean, they did a good job with it, but... Sometimes it's too edited. It's like the gates, the gate is too high, and I assume and like they're literally not even something picking yet, and the sound's already cutting off. So that's kind of that's kind of what the whole backdrop of it is. But on this album, the songwriting is actually really good. I mean, there's actually not a bad like arrangement on the whole album. It's really cool. You have strings. They go from riffs, the choruses sound cool. Now, the mix itself, it is a little bit scooped. So, I mean, the guitars and, the, and, the, and even across the entire mix, they scooped a lot of mids out of there, which, once again, that's what they were going for. I, I don't know, lately, the super scooped stuff has never, you know, it hasn't really been resonating with me that well. But, like I said, the whole, the songwriting on here is actually extremely good. That's one of the strong points of the album. But the downside of this album is the songwriting. When I mean songwriting, I mean the lyrics. The lyrics on here, some of the songs are like downright cheesy. For example, Death of a Rockstar. I get what they were going for. They were trying to talk about how rock stars are dead and it's not for the fun anymore. It's just people who plug shit into formulas to crank out money to make to crank out songs to make money for the record industry. I get it. But the way it's delivered is terrible. It's talking about how you washed up and the lyrics remind me of something I would have wrote when I was 12. So the lyrics are pretty bad. And then on the next song after that, Beautiful Agony, that one's about like drug use. It's The lyrics are kind of weird. And I think it's about drug use anyway. The lyrics are kind of weird on there. I mean, it does kind of recover to the back end of the album. The lyrics get a little bit better and they're, they're more fluid. We also have an instrumental on here, A Taxi of Four is the instrumental that's on here and it's actually it's it's banging because like I said all the instrumental arrangements on here are cool and the lyrics are kind of meh. Overall I'm gonna have to give this a 3.5 out of 5. If the lyrics wouldn't be so cheesy I would have gave this thing like a four and a half almost a five. It's a very solid album. If you're in the Vela Maya, if you're in the Gent at all it is really good. Some of the stronger songs on here for example like Objective Reality when they have cleans in, the songs are better. When they're not just a full onslaught of screams, when they put when they put a little bit of cleans in there, the songs get instantly so much better. It's, it's crazy. So, like I said, 3.5 out of 5. The album is really good. It kind of sags in certain places, but it's still it's a, it's a good release of 2017. What did you think about this album? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you hate it? Did you love it? Let me know in the comments down below. I swear I'm going to have to be out. Peace.